No way. I was actually considering going to Technique Tools or Total Tools this morning to pick up a tool bag that I could put all my metal equipment in. And right here in front of me, in front of my car, on the ground, on the road, is a Milwaukee tool, tool bag. What is the chance of that? Just somewhere to put all the um, clamps, all the metals things to avoid rust. It's my lucky day. On that note, what did we get yesterday? All right, I'll run through a few of the um, smaller stuff we got besides the uh, the big mixer. We've got this thing here, an, an ox scoop, plastic scoop, I guess that's just to put your mud in when you're trying to get into uh, you know, situations that are a bit tougher to fill holes or whatever. I don't know. Does anyone actually use these? Not sure. Let me know. These are the bomb. BT, shout out Simon, BT. These are the best. You must have these. Line blocks. The long-sided line block is the best. You chuck it on this edge with the line running out this way. You butt your brick straight hard up against the profile and against this longer edge. Keeps your brickwork nice and square at your angles. I've got a heap of these. I think I've got like six of these. Um, this is interesting, this is the first time I've had a gauge tape. I usually have like a, um, I usually have a gauge rod that's just been marked up. This this is just handy. You know, you've got your 84, 85, 86 and 87 gauge and they're all mapped out in different patterns here. It's real handy. I've got, I've got a couple of the grain tex hammers this time. Usually I go for the Vaughns. I've had these before, they, they go alright. They're half the price, you grab two of them. So I got a couple of them. What else did I get? Oh yeah, I got a new brush. Got a have to have a new brush. I got a new Luskin just for quick in the pocket use. You just gotta have one of these. I got a sample of the lime juice. Anyone using this? Lime replacement. Apparently I'm way behind the times with this. Obviously got a brush. Gotta keep updating these, get all the cement on it. How do you keep these clean? Let me know. And I've got another sliding perp clamp for your internals. Here's Dino. Alright, we better do some work. It's been a couple of days doing run around things. So i um, got a bit, heap of sand there. We're going to set up the mixer, put a, put a batch in and get to it. And we also got a couple of these things here. Some 10 mil expansion steel. I think it runs for about 1.5 metres. Got a couple of these lengths just so we can put in next to our, our windows and doors and keep a nice 10 mil gap. So just place it in there like that and butt our bricks hard up. Morning everyone, welcome back to a new week. Just going across the road to the job, Point Cook. We're back on today so it was a bit of a nightmare towards the end of last week. I didn't tell you, I didn't record a hell of a lot of it, but um, had a few fix up jobs. The boys, we went out to um, Plumpton on Friday and we did a bit, bit of a fix up there. Um, the, the week didn't end, end great. We, as we finally got back to this job in Point Cook and we're laying bricks Friday afternoon, I get a call at three o'clock to come around to a job I completed a couple of months ago for the same company. And uh, and yeah, not the news you want on a Friday afternoon when you've got a couple of walls apparently that are kicking out. I went over there on the weekend. I tried to, it rained heaps on Saturday. Sunday I went there and um, did a bit of rectifying, some couple of sills are a bit wonky at the ends. I fixed some sills, I put some little pieces in where there was a gap between the timber and whatnot. So, did a bit of fixing up yesterday, but um, there's obviously, I'll, I'll take his there now, I'll show you what the main issues are on this job. Mind you, completed about two, maybe even two and a half months ago now, so it's been a long time to be picked up this late, but. Um, Either way, I'll I'll go there now and I'll show you what we um, show you what we got to what we got to finish. Um, so this is I'm at the job right now. 
the job is right there that we've been doing, the job that we've got to go to fix is in this street. So we're lucky in that in that sense that they're close. Pain in the house either way though. Just one of them things, I mean, just gotta, just gotta take the good with the bad, okay? Um, I'm making less mistakes, yes, but, um, you know, in this game, and they're only getting pickier now that it's potentially getting a little bit quieter from, you know, for all the stuff that's going on, I can only imagine it's gonna get quieter towards the end of the year, but, um, all right, I'm here now. I'll, I'll jump out and show you. I'll get the two meter level out. Side is the face work. Well, we've got a big, um, add a plum issue here. I don't know what's happened, but as you can see, we're within the line there running up but in order to make it the bubble right in the middle we have about I don't know what it is is it a 10 mil probably a 10 mil gap and you see at the top very slight very very slight it's probably maximum of 10 mil over this distance which is 3.3 high which is a 40 course 42 course home so if you do the math, our tolerance is we get 10 mil per single story out of plum. I just double checked the standards this morning. So we've got 10 mil to play with per story. Um, I have a photo that I'll put up. I actually put the long edge. This is the other thing. The supervisor came here on Friday and he was putting his two meter level on. Or well, not even, I think he had like a 1200 or 1500 level. And he was saying, Obviously, it shows up a lot more clearer. Anything gets stood out more on a smaller distance. So what I did yesterday is before I pulled this wall down, I got the um, I got my new profile, which is 3.3 long. And I put it up here. Put the profile like this its edge hard up on the bottom where it would have been and then you put your level on oh, sorry I know. these guys can't see at the moment but and then you put your level on the profile and make it level make it plumb sorry and we have plumb at the bottom and as you can see at the top or may not be able to see is about Oh, just 10 mil maybe maybe 11 mil over this distance so this is what I'm going to show him when he comes here because he was putting a little 1500 and of course it's going to look bad putting a little 1500 and over that distance but the reality is it's not that far out so I was freaking out thinking I'm going to, have to take all this bar off and all these 200 200 so bricks on top It really is. It's not how to plumb that bad. And that's going to be another conversation we're going to have to have today. Double checking our standards and our tolerances. We, we might we might get away with this one. Um, I mean, it's a lot of work to pull down. To be to only find out you're within your tolerance. It's a very very tiny bit out of plumb. I pulled out a couple of these bricks that were um, that were rolled forward, which didn't help its um, help its problem which was making it stick out even more. That's why when he put it on, probably he thought, gee, this is like 15, 20 mil, but in actual fact, it's not that bad. Anyway, we'll wait for the call and see what he says this afternoon. And in the meantime, me and Dino are working at that street over there. He's just pulled up in the drive, so I'm gonna head over there now. Boys are going with the black theme today. Bit of fashion about us, bit of get up. Dino fresh off a long bender weekend. <laughs> Have a look, sun's out boys. We're gonna scaffold this little bit at the front we did today. We're taking our time and making sure we do a really good job on this one. We're, we're not in any hurry at the moment. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna scaffold this section, probably just do this first bit into that internal maybe and uh, get that to the roof. That way we can move on and do this bit around to that AJ around the other side. So set the scaff up, get a mix in. Let's get going. That's all we're 
always good. So we've got our brickwork to the same height as what we've got to get here to, on this welded bar. So we know we've gauged up the job right. It's freezing, we've just got a bloody jumpers on. Sun was out a couple of hours ago. Absolutely freezing now. Isn't it, Dana? Yeah, it's cold as. Yeah. <laughs> Keep cutting it out, trimming it backwards. These windows getting in the road. Got to keep trimming them back more. So we can get our bricks in here. I hate that. We're up on the scaff now, going above the meter box. Just need a labourer down here, don't we, Dana? Yeah. What are we up to now, Dino? Hey. What are we up to now? Did the front porch. It's now an hour after lunchtime-ish. Scaffold. Gonna get this up to the, hopefully another eight or 10 courses or so. As high as we can reach with these little trestles here. And then uh, we'll set up for tomorrow the next panel. 
but until we have them big trestles, which I don't have on me at the moment, I don't think I can get all the way up 40 course high. It's a pain. Or we'll just set up the next section instead. Winter on. Just over half a brick. Be about 120 or so. Oh, this little bar. One, oh yeah, a bit more, 150 either side. Now we're gonna always double check that I have it 20 mil. You can see there. 20 mil there. Same on this side. Gotta go back another bit. Alright, 20 mil there. Oh, now our lintels square off the back. I like to fill up with bricks as well. Lift this up. Make sure our holes are filled. They're going to be seen underneath the bar. Got to make sure we fill them up. Um, day's work. Got this to the top. As well as up and around the front. The porch. To the roof. To the rear. Into there, just left off the top bar. For the returning stuff there. Good job, Dina. Good, good day's work. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. And also, I've got Saucy has started up a new YouTube channel, I just wanted to let you know. So if you're interested in anything fitness based or uh, vegan or training or anything like that, check him out at Saucy Henderson on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description. Cheers guys.